All right, guys, I'm going to show you all right quick how, um, you know, some of the tools and stuff that y'all are going to be using on Google Slides. We're going to be using Google Slides for all of our presentations and not PowerPoint because through Google, you can access it online, it automatically saves it, and then you can access it from anywhere, any computer or device that you can get internet access to and get online. So we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new presentation. And once this loads, see we have different um, different themes to choose from. So I'm going to pick this theme, come over here to OK, and it'll load. Now you're going to come in, you can add your titles, um, and then make sure you put your name or names on it. Um, this little button right here lets you add new slides. If you toggle down on this arrow, it gives you the different layouts to choose from. I'm going to go with the simple title and body slide. Um, so you can come over here and put in all of your text. Now, there's a few rules that I want you all to make sure you all follow. Um, no more than three different fonts for your entire presentation. Um, Another thing is, you come over here and choose bullets. Use bullets. Keep your slides simple and clean. And no, absolutely, guys, I don't want y'all to use full, big sentences, big paragraphs. Keep them simple, straightforward to the point. So, um, really and truly, no more than 50 to 75 words per slide. Honestly, y'all shouldn't need more than 30. But if y'all need more, y'all can use more. But just make sure y'all keep it clean, keep it easy to read, and um, y'all should be fine. So let's add one more slide, and I'll show y'all right quick how to put in a picture. Um, right over here, there's this little box. Um, this little button and it says image so you click on that and it is going to open up here where you can either drag and drop an image but you can also choose an image to upload so if you have it already saved to the computer um, if you found a picture online saved it to the computer then you can do it this way so I'm gonna open up this image and there it is right on my slide so I'm gonna shrink it down and stick it over here on the side now another important thing to remember guys is do not let text go over the top of your images. Um, you're going to want to move your text box so that it's not going to be over your image. So, um, you know, and use images that are relevant to your topic. Um, especially relevant to the topic that the slide is talking about. Um, say if the slide is talking about the American Revolutionary War. You're not going to put a picture of a tiger on there that doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, but, you know, use images, but, um, you know, no more than two images per slide unless there is um, some reason that y'all do need more than two images, then talk to me about it. So, there y'all go. Um, it's pretty simple. It's really easy. Uh, see, and I don't even have to click save. I can just come over here and go back home. And my presentation is going to be right there. See, here it is. Ready to go. So I look forward to seeing everybody's presentations. And if you all have any questions, feel free to talk to me during class. Thank you, guys.